G'day. During this time of lockdown, I thought I'd play with some new, well, new vintage lenses. And uh, one came in the parcel today, in this package, but uh, I'm a bit worried. Let's see if it's in one piece. Oh, it's all right. There's these little extras that are rattling around in the packet because there's the lens in there. Ooh. Now there's a couple of quirks with this. Not that this whole thing isn't quirky anyway, but you've got your focus ring down near the base and it simply says near or far. That's how you focus. <laughs> Your aperture ring is stepless and uh, it's absolutely brilliant. It goes from wide open, which is uh, f1.4. It's marked then as going to f8, but then after that, there's a C on the lens. And the C, I figured out, is closed. It actually closes completely. So if you just back it off from the C a bit, you can just open the lens just a touch and then bring it out as much as you want all the way to 1.4. You can really play with the amount of uh, depth of field and everything you get off this lens. If you uh, even thought of making a movie with this lens, at least your, uh, your aperture settings are clickless and they're nice and smooth to turn. Not that you'd want to make a big movie out of this thing with the amount of magnetic you get from it. It's all metal, it's pretty well made, um, it's certainly not going to fall apart, it's, uh, it's quite well constructed, it's got a uh, C-type screw mount, so you need the adapter to go with whatever camera you've got, just screws on, pretty simple, uh, just watch it because this thing does screw apart, I'm pulling the front element off at the moment, so there you go. Um, You've got your aperture setting right in there. Front element just screws on and off. Um, so it is easy to take apart if you ever need to, to clean or whatever. So there you go, CCTV lens. It's quite a, quite an interesting little thing to uh, play around with. Take some decent photos, has some quirks. But with all of these, this isn't a vintage lens. Uh, it's a vintage uh, style, but this is a modern made, this is brand new. But with this sort of lens and, and the vintage lenses I'm playing around with, they all have quirks, they all have uh, what some people would call weaknesses. Now the great thing about finding weaknesses in your gear, turn them into strengths. If you have a lens that has flair, utilise it, be creative with it. Vignetting, same thing. I mean, the Helios 44.2, world famous for its swirly bokeh. Now that is a weakness, but people turned it into a strength. Work with the weaknesses, play around with them, and turn them into strengths. Okay? Bit of a lesson in life too. So here we are videoing with the CCTV lens on an APS-C sensor in the Fujifilm. You get a lot of vignetting here. On a micro four thirds, being a smaller sensor, you wouldn't get as much. On a full frame, of course, it'd be just probably just this round circle you're looking at. But uh, with all these things, if you're taking photos with this lens, you get a big bit, bit of big netting. You can always just crop the picture anyway. So here's a few photos I took with the CCTV lens on my Fujifilm XT2. It's got an APS-C sensor in it, so remember that. The lens actually came with uh, some extra rings to put on it for macro work. Uh, they gave me two, they're both the same size so you can have you know one level of macro or two of the uh, rings, extension rings, to get the closest macro. So here's a shot of my uh, computer keyboard with the macro uh, extension tubes on the lens and uh, yeah you can get quite close to things. Things do blur out around the edges, the focus is sharp in the middle 
And then I found <laughs> you can actually unscrew the front of the lens, pull out the front element. <coughs> Not that you'd want to. Then I thought, well, I'll stick it on the camera and see what I get. You get beautiful blurred bokeh everywhere. Nothing in focus. Um, but uh, there's just an example of, of the bokeh you get if you pull the front element out of the lens. <coughs> but if you actually want to take a photo, you just put it back in. You do get very good depth of field out of this thing. I'm, I'm quite surprised with the results because uh, it's not a lens made for fine art photography or anything, but uh, it can give some impressive results. It depends on your creativity, I think. So there you go, the CCTV lens. Paid about 30 bucks for it online. Came with the lens, the adapter for the Fujifilm, and uh, two little extension tubes for macro work. Now, you might say, well, why would you bother getting it? Well, in this lockdown time, I'm going nuts. I need something creative to work with. So this was a bit of fun. It was very cheap. And uh, a bit like Sir Edmund Hillary said, because it's there. <laughs> so whatever you do, pick up your camera and have fun.